Hello and welcome. This video is going to be on a diet optimization problem, uh, which is defined as a way to minimize cost while meeting a set of requirements. So I'm going to be looking to minimize cost while meeting requirements. As you can see, we have an example right here. Um, and let's read through this. A diet requires certain foods to be consumed in order to maintain a healthy stock lifestyle. Five foods are available for consumption. Broccoli, asparagus, potatoes, chicken, and fish. Each package of broccoli costs $1 per pound. Asparagus costs $1.50 per pound. Potatoes cost $1.75 per pound. Chicken costs $2.75 per pound. And fish costs $3.50 per pound. Each day one needs to consume at least 2,000 calories, 50 grams of protein, 40 grams of fat, and 3,500 milligrams of potassium. The nutritional value of each food is shown in the table. Please satisfy the nutritional requirements and minimize the cost of the goods purchased. So in most problems, we will be given a table, as you can see right here, of values that give our calories per food our protein, our fat content, and our potassium per milligram. So we're going to use this to actually meet our requirements in our uh, mathematical model. So of course we're going to start with our objective function, which is pretty simple in this case. It is going to be to minimize cost and we're going to set the cost equal to z we're going to leave some space here so we can define z but now we need to go through and look at our decision variables so as you can see i've highlighted already in yellow um, what i believe to be decision variables this is going to be b we're going to define this as b a p C, F. So this is going to be the pounds of broccoli purchased. Now we're going to have the pounds of asparagus purchased. Then we're going to have to define pounds of potatoes purchased, pounds of chicken purchased, and the pounds of fish purchased. So now that we have our decision variables set right here, we can actually go back and solve for z. So our z variable is going to be equal to the costs of all of these goods time or the number or the number of pounds purchased times the actual cost which was highlighted in green. So we're going to do this in green. You've got b times 1, so that's the number of pounds of broccoli multiplied by $1 per pound plus A times 150. That's the number of pounds of asparagus purchased times $1.50 per pound. We're going to go through and we're going to do this for each um, decision variable. So now we actually have our Z defined, and this is the cost that we'll be minimizing. And now we need to go through and look at what our constraints are. So our constraints are, or we can write subject to, which will be our constraints. This is a way of 
notifying that subject to is a constraint. So first we need to look at what our constraints are going to be. As you can see, I've highlighted already, but we need to know that we need at least 2,000 calories, at least 50 grams of protein, at least 40 grams of fat, and at least 3,500 milligrams of potassium. So let's start with our calories. And actually, the line right here, we'll start with our calories constraint. This is going to be equal to the pounds of broccoli multiplied by the calorie content given right here. So we know that per pound of broccoli, we have 135 calories. So we're going to have pounds of broccoli. Actually, let me restart in writing this. We know we need at least 2,000 calories. So at least 2,000. So this needs to be greater than or equal to. And then now we can put our broccoli multiplied by the calorie content. And we're going to add up the calorie contents of all of these variables. So we've got, that's 330. And then plus chicken times 1,100 plus the fish, which is at 900. So we're taking the pounds of fish and multiplying it by the calorie content per pound. Now we're going to go through and do the protein constraint, which is 50 grams of protein, and this has to be greater than or equal to. So we're going to have broccoli at 10 grams per pound, plus asparagus at 12 grams per pound, plus a potato at 9 grams per pound, plus chicken at 120 grams per pound, plus fish at 100 grams per pound. So now we've done the calories, we've done the protein, and now we need to do the fat. So our fat content, our fat constraint, is 40 grams of fat. So we have to be greater than or equal to B has 0, plus asparagus having 1.5, plus potatoes having zero as well, plus chicken having 60 grams of fat, plus fish having 55. And then now we're going to do our potassium. Which is 3,500 milligrams per pound. So we're going to look at the broccoli per pound at 1,100 milligrams plus the asparagus per pound being 1,400 plus the potatoes at 1,900 plus the chicken at 1,000 plus fish at 1,700. So now you can see that we've actually completed all of the constraints or the subject to for calories, protein, fat, and potassium. Now you of course know that we need non-negative constraint as well. This is very important and every single decision variable needs to be defined as greater than or equal to zero. Otherwise your constraint will not be or your mathematical model will not be feasible and you will not find a solution or it will not be bounded. Uh, that should be everything for a diet optimization problem. We'll have another one in the next video, but uh, this is the basic gist. We will be minimizing cost while meeting the requirements given in the word problem. Uh, thank you.